and we are completing the purge of the shuttle. Here we are at less than T minus three minutes, shuttle launch STS 131. T minus two minutes, 39 seconds and counting. Clear one memory, verify no one expected error. Clear three and work. And the gaseous oxygen vent hood, or beauty cap, is being retracted away from the top of the external tank. T minus two minutes, 20 seconds in counting. Discovery copies, visors, and O2 flow. T minus two minutes and counting. Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is now being terminated. Go for ET, O2 pressurization. T minus one minute, 44 seconds and counting. All systems are go. Ninety seconds away from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery. Holy shit, holy shit dude. <laughs> T minus one minute, fifteen seconds and counting. T minus one minute. One minute. The ground launch sequencer will verify that the three main engines are ready to start. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. We're transferring to orbiter internal power. Discovery is now running off of the three onboard fuel cells. T minus 38 seconds and counting. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start. <laughs> T minus 25 seconds. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of the vehicle's critical function. 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and the sound suppression water system has been activated. We have a go for maintaining start. Three engines up and ready. Three, two, one, oh my God. zero, booster ignition, Woo! and a liftoff of oh discovery. Blazing a trail to scientific discovery of the fourth space station. Woo! Woo! Houston Discovery, well programmed. Five to roll, Discovery. Oh my God. 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 Oh my Already at an altitude of 4.7 miles or 26,500 feet. Traveling. Discovery, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Traveling 1,000 miles per hour. Discovery's engines are now throttled back up and performing in full oh capability. God. We've got to away more than four and a half million pounds, and now uh, one minute and 27 seconds into the flight. The main engines and solid rocket boosters have reduced that weight by about half. Oh, wow. Solid rocket boosters alone are burning 11,000 pounds of propellant per second, and the external tank is now 3,000 pounds lighter than when it began. So there's now 21 miles away from this launch pad and uh, 24 miles in output traveling. 2,700 miles per hour. All three main engines are working just as expected. The three fuel cells are generating power and three auxiliary power units are all producing pressure. I'm sure everything is performing well. 
15 minutes and 7 seconds into the SPS 131 mission. Booster Officer and Mission Control Center confirmed solid rocket booster separation. All systems continuing to continue and function well. Two orbital maneuvering system engines on Discovery Tail are now firing as well, providing dash fit on extra boost into orbit. Engine burn will last one minute and 44 seconds. Discovery two engine Tail. Discovery copy, two engine call. That call indicates that Discovery can now reach Marone and Spain with one of the three main engines still. However, all three of those main engines are currently working well. Two minutes and 59 seconds into the flight, and Discovery is now 79 miles away from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. <laughs> 48 miles an hour speed and traveling at 4,500 miles per hour. So we also seeing the first of many sunrises of the SPS 30, 131 mission. Discovery is now flying too high and too fast to return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine fail with failure. That's not currently a problem, however, as all engines are continuing to perform as expected. Four minutes and 15 seconds into discovery of flight. Settles traveling 6,000 miles per hour at an altitude of 63 miles and uh, is 181 miles away from Kennedy Space Center. Wow. 